Thank you. This is good. All right, so are we going? Okay, well, uh, you just witnessed my uh, absolute masterpiece. Um, yeah, you could any comments or questions? I'd love to hear. Um, Frederick. I really, really like um, uh, the lighting situation you have, especially when they're coming up the stairs. Mm -hmm. I mean, not only does it look like it looks, it's nice and homely. Yeah. But in when when you put it in that context, it, it's kind of like limited light. It's very mysterious. Very kind of like yeah, leading you up to to what's going to happen. Um, and I also really like the uh, the scream and the fact that you couldn't see Rebecca when she screamed. I think that made made it more effective because mm -hmm. if you had her, and it's kind of difficult to shoot that without it being comedic. Yeah, so exactly. You know, exactly. You, know, exactly. you made a good choice. Kind of comedically. Yeah. That. Where was that scream from? Actually? Sorry. That was oh yeah, no. Um, was that not Rebecca? Yeah, exactly. It sounded like her. Well, while I was editing it, my brother was like, "Oh, Rebecca scream is like really." Really good, like he, because it sounds like you. It does. I found one. Like, I found one that was like really close to, to your screen, but yeah, no, it was it was just one I found. But it was really good. Tried to match it. Thank you. Um, yeah, yeah. I I've never really looked at the lighting situation like that, but yeah, I think I was in a fortunate situation there with the lights, sort of string lights going up the stairs. It's like homely, and then it's sort of that <laughs> contrast of it being like warm, and then it's sort of going into yeah, false sense of security. Okay. Um, Jacob. What I really, really, really loved, and it was just like th this one shot of when Becca opens the door to the house and she's about to go in and from the outside, and you've gone for this really like high saturation look, which I think is really cool. It gives it a very unusual like, even when you, even when everything's going all right, you just have this sort of this isn't this isn't normal. There's something wrong here. You open it and because you've got in your house you've got this like red carpet on your stairs, and You've got like, and the house looks really red and it's really lit up and it sort of looks like it's lit up by candlelight. And it, I don't know, to me it just, it, it was like she was walking into like hell or something. Like it was this really scary looking house. And I just thought it looked really amazing like when she opened that. It, it was just a really good, good looking thing. Thank you, I appreciate it. I, I sort of, because of the quality of cameras that we're using, not being that great, yeah. I think I'd go for something more gritty and do the sort of hyper Yeah. Thing. I'm glad that you thought it worked out. Mm. I like the little touch of uh, when you're following Rebecca with the camera like behind the the bush or something. Mm. You added like the filter on it where it had like the recording like an actual camera. I feel like that was really effective and you know uh, you put a filter so it was like different color from the rest of the production. Yeah, thank you. I wanted to sort of distinguish it. Um, I wish I could have got a better looking effect and mm. like, it looked a bit tacky, but I think oh, yeah. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> What it, what it was supposed to do. Yeah. Thank you. Um, Jen Franco. It was really good. Good story, good lighting, good sound, good, good everything. But um, personally, what I would improve on was um, perspectives of the story. Mm -hmm. uh, you combined the killer's perspective, as in him walking in, you can see the knife and all that. So, like, you can see him before Rebecca could even see him. Yeah. Instead, if it was just Rebecca, Right, she was sitting there, and then you could hear all those sounds approaching, uh, footsteps, slowly opening the door, and then you could see his face slowly. Yeah. That would create more as in we're seeing it by Rebecca's side, okay. mm. but seeing it from his side, I don't know, if, if, if it makes me like, root for him or something, like, to, to show Rebecca's Thanks. side. Okay, yeah, so... You know so what I mean? You're maybe, maybe working, working with that build-up, the build-up. Yeah. Because I think, because we see his... When we see, I really like the touches that you had in there, like we see like a bit of his hand holding the knife, and you see like his, his shoes and stuff, you kind of see parts of him, you kind of yeah. feel like the picture in your head. But then, but you show the face quite early yeah. on, and perhaps, yeah, maybe that might be nice to mix that around a bit and build that up. Yeah, maybe, further. maybe get rid of it. I see what you mean with that, yeah, I think it would build up more atmosphere to not have this shot here or a couple of other shots in there, mm. just use. Although it is a really nice shot, but it's, it's uh, impactful. To, to, maybe even at a later point, or yeah, like yeah. towards the end. Yeah, um, I see that. Yeah, that, that, I think that's. Um, I might have a re-edit, rearrange it a little bit, and play with that kind of thing. Yeah. But Jenna, you think maybe a bit of POV from Becca? Yeah, kind of I would have gone more for her side. So, yeah. like what Frederick did when the three of them were locked inside, we never really saw the perspective of the guy who put uh, gas inside of uh, mm. the sound studio, like. Maybe just a little bit of the bad guy, but having the, the you know the victim 
in the room, and then we can hear everything by their perspective, and then getting scared can yeah. also influence the audience's perspective of the situation as well. Yeah, so the audience is in the unknown, and just as scared yeah. as the character, I suppose. Yeah, yeah thank you, Jennifer. That's really good. Um, yeah. I actually kind of like how we don't really see Rebecca's, much of Rebecca's body, so kind of more to the imagination of what actually Mm. Yeah, yeah. Um, I wanted to sort of have that like mystery of like what's happened because again, um, I feel like it sort of leaves more to the ima imagination. Just having sounds and like cutting before the scenes, and again, also there's a scene that I still have to film, which ties that in. Um, which hopefully I'll be able to show you guys when that's done. Jacob, I want to say it's just to piggyback off of Damien's earlier point about the uh, the, the filter over the camera. You say it looks quite tacky, but I thought it felt very much like Silence of the Lambs when you've got the guy with the um, night vision goggles. And I, I think it's quite cool because it gives a very, like, kind of dehumanizes this guy in that the only, like, real point of view perspective you see is the camera. So it's like, it, it, it almost makes you think he's not human because yeah. of this. It's more, like, robotic, which is cool. Thank I like you. it. Is that everything? Thank you.